Hello, my name's Guy Wallace from Redstack. This is just a short two minute video on how to bring cloud point data into Inventor through Recap. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up a point cloud. So, this is a point cloud file. And in the Recap menu, you do have some options here. Uh, for example, import. So, if you were to be importing scanned files, we support all of the different scanned file types uh, that could come from different types of scanners. So the file I'm working on here is a pre-existing scanned file and you can see straight away uh, I can scan the view, I can also uh, rotate and we can see inside this um, this small room. Yeah, a lot of other great tools here such as manipulating the, the different types of colours of the scans, the height, elevations, things like that, intensity and so on. Uh, as well as uh, point manipulations as well, size of the points and, th and things like that. Um, there are some tools for things like perspectives, um, view cubes and so on, and of course some lighting as well, uh, where we can change the lighting effects, uh, brighten it up and so on within inside the uh, recap software. Just keeping in mind that when we do bring this into Inventor, we are going to see um, whatever properties we create here will be brought in. Other tools that we have here are tools for clipping. Uh, so we can clip, for example, a window and then we can clip outside, inside, delete or work with those regions. Uh, let's just save that file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that and prepare it for uh, importing into Inventor. So with the Inventor window open, uh, basically all we need to do is create a new part or a new assembly. In this case it's an assembly. Uh, it's quite quick and quite simple to work with this data. Uh, you'll notice um, on, my, on my tabs here, on uh, my Manage tab I have a Recap tab. Here I could launch Recap and work with the point cloud as you saw me previously. In this case I'm just going to simply attach the point cloud. So as I attach this, I grab my sample file here and then it allows me to place it anywhere in Inventor. Uh, I can work with the specific offset in X, Y and Z or selecting the inserted origin will allow me to just pop it straight in. Uh, I'll just rotate the model here so you can see um, what, what it is and obviously it is the same file that we were working with before. Now if I wanted to work uh, do some manipulation in here I do have some cropping tools so I'm just going to box crop the area that I'm interested in so we'll just do a window select here and uh, when I window select that I can obviously then control so the depth of the crop um, I'm just going to say OK and you'll see that it crops the area and just leaves me with the, with the uh, area that I'm interested in the colour properties that have been brought in have come across from Recap, so if there were some modifications I'd need to go back to Recap and modify the file. It is an attachment. I can however add some cloud points. So for example I can select these uh, these cloud points to create some work points. And then those work points could be used to manipulate or create some solid model data. And that's it. Thank you for your time. My name's Guy. I'm from Redstack.